way we see it, we kind of look at what is the outcome we want? So what's the goal? And, and the goal of that call was to, was to get a yes out of, that, out of that conversation. And so then we sort of back feed in all of the data points that we have, like uh, using, using Mike's example, if the, if the person has contributed in the past would be a data point, yes or no. And we then look at all the conversations that have happened in the past of, of those agents. And we then say, which of those data points are telling us a little bit about what the likely outcome would be. So if, if in Mike's example, we have someone that can handle that rebuttal, um, that'll be a data point because you would have seen someone that has not contributed or has contributed in the past and has now uh, said yes in the past. And so you'd be able to really calculate the chance of this person, this agent having this conversation with that client and what's the likely outcome so that you can best allocate the right resource to be able to have those to be able to have those conversations. So the history of that of that salesperson or the history of that customer is only one dimension, of course. There, there, there are a whole bunch of other points like where is this person geographically? And some of your people on your team will do better with some geographic areas. <clears throat> and it's not as simple as saying, oh, well, people from the West Coast to just speak to people from the West Coast. Yeah, that, that could be, but that, that's, missing, that's missing the great opportunity of the massive talent that you might have on that floor. Because you might have someone that is ultra skillful at selling across the range. And then, then let's, let's give them those things. Let, let's set them up for success. 